a good conversation is often spoilt by one a desire to show one's ready wit without depth or rational judgment and two the tedious and ridiculous reception of hackneyed utterances or remarks characteristics of good conversation in private life and rules for guidance one one should not monopolize all the talk but give others an equal chance of contributing their share to it one should lead it on instead of confirming it to oneself so as to lend color and variety to it two one should not indulge in unseemingly jests or improper subjects religion politics great personalities and a man's current business had better excluded from one's talks avoid talking about yourself 3 it is not enough to give and maintain one's opinion one should also ask questions which are calculated to secure the double advantage of pleasing the answering party and instructing oneself 4 It is a good policy not to show in conversation all you know but to hide some of your knowledge so as to acquire the reputation of knowing more than you profess to know one should pretend to be ignorant about something which one knows well so that afterwards when the talk is about a topic one does not really know one may have the reputation of knowing it 5 your words in conversation should be suited to the level of understanding of the person spoken to set speech and debating in public life 1 eloquence without the power of debating shows a lack of readiness debate involves the faculty of making extempore replies 2 on the other hand the power of giving a smart reply or reparty impromptu without the eloquence for a sustained speech without the eloquence for a sustained speech betrays one's want of depth of one's knowledge